When I tell you this DJ Envy situation continues to get worse and worse, it's probably an understatement. As you know, we just did a video recently letting you know that DJ Envy was responding to the accusations that have been surfacing all over online about him being involved in some shape or form in regards to his former business partner, Cesar Pena, who was recently arrested and now is facing federal charges. Well, now he's speaking out again via his attorney, but not only that, Fans are finding all kinds of old footage of DJ Envy hyping up his former business partner and talking about how great he is and how he learned about real estate in prison. Welcome back to the Kempire channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So, as I said to you before, we've done a couple of videos covering this DJ Envy situation. Recently, DJ Envy's former partner, Cesar Pena, was arrested. We also reported to you that there were reports, actual news reports. This wasn't from, like, a gossip blog. NBC was reporting that the feds had raided the iHeart Radio offices. There were also speculation that, that there was this recent job posting for the co-host position over at the Breakfast Club. So some people had speculated that, oh, that was just for Angela Yee's position. But people are still believing that possibly this posting could be for DJ Envy. Some of you have said that you've applied. Let me know how that goes. You never know, might have find the future person. But I told you, I felt like that posting really was just them doing the legal route of, okay, we have to post about this, but we already have someone in mind for the position. I've mentioned to you before, DJ Envy has been facing a lot of backlash since he has been named in several civil suits in regards to this Ponzi-like scheme that his former friend and business partner has been accused of and was recently arrested, Cesar Pena. So now, you know, the trusty journalist that we love, she covered a lot of the Tory Lane situation, Megan Kuniff, is reporting and following up on the story and she says she just got off the phone with DJ Envy's lawyer, Massimo D'Angelo, who says Envy is one of Cesar Pena's Ponzi scheme victims. We reported that to you before. In a quote, she says, obviously Envy is going to be assisting and cooperating fully to get not only his money back, but money back for, for the other victims. D'Angelo says that Envy is invest has invested $500,000 with Pena, but didn't get any money back. He paid out substantial sums similar to some of the other investors who thought they were getting money back. This is according to her conversation with DJ Envy's attorney. So TMZ reported after we did our last video talking about the feds in the feds raiding the iHeartRadio offices, and TMZ said this. Law enforcement sources told them, and a source, iHeartMedia, also confirmed confirmed to them that no equipment was removed from the building when the feds went there. So they're told that the New Jersey Division of Drug Enforcement Administration and the FBI all had a part in investigating the case, and officials were at the offices to alert DJ Envy that Pena, Cesar Pena, his former partner, had been arrested. So they're, they're saying that this wasn't a raid. No equipment had been taken. So this is according to TMZ. So since then, a lot of old footage, including th this interview from two years ago with Mayno, DJ Envy talks about how Cesar Pena learned about real estate in prison. Is uh, my partner in right. New Jersey. He owns over 1,600 units in New Jersey and all throughout the country. Caesar was in prison before. Caesar was in prison. Caesar wow. was locked up and he learned how to do real estate in prison. In pri wow. wow. He learned how to do the real estate. You got to bring Caesar up here one day. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. love him to do it. And shout out to my guy, the credit dude, man. Yeah. So with Caesar, he taught me how to do it the right way. He taught me, you know, why he was like, his first thing is, why are you using your money? That's what you mean. He said, you don't use your money. You use other people's money to get these deals. And started teaching me the game of how to do it without using and using minimal money. So here's a couple of things. First of all, shout out to all the inmates. Shout out to all the inmates. Yes, I support in inmate reform, okay? 
and given opportunities to come out and do better and excel and become a, a part of society. Here's the thing, though. I, what was he learning in regards to real estate? And when DJ Envy says in this conversation, and I know some people are going to jump down on, on this and say using other people's money. Well, it's, it's crazy now when you look back at what Caesar was doing, allegedly, I'll say allegedly, in regards to using other people's money. He was using other people's money that didn't have money to lose. He was abusing that. But here's the other thing. There's a legal way of doing flipping homes and things like that. We've seen it. There have been plenty of people that can sit here and break down for you. I'm not one of them. I don't, I don't flip play, um, homes. But we've seen it. We've seen it on HGTV. We've seen people on YouTube talk about how they flip homes and, and sell them and make, make money from them. But the way that Caesar was doing it seems not the proper way, the illegal way, Ponzi-like scheme way. Well, that wasn't the only video that has surfaced. There's been multiple videos. There are multiple videos that have been surfacing. But this other video shows DJ Envy going to Caesar's office to pick up his money, his rent checks. Envy, flip it at Jack. Today, ProStyle came. This is this is your first time picking up rent, right? First time Oof. picking up these joints. Oof. I don't want to see the names of the checks, but yeah. Oof. First time picking up rent, and that's what it's all about. When I tell you about creating generational wealth, that's what it is. I picked up, this is some of my rent. He owes me some more. His rent is picked up. Just getting started, baby. And that's what it's about. Pro Style jumped into the game. How many houses did you want? Uh, three. I'm about to hopefully close on the fourth one, right? This guy is trying to get more houses yeah. than me. He's going to start Four speaking at the seminar. We're going to be at like 12, 16 units real Oof. soon. You know what I'm saying? Oof. That's, what, that's <laughs> what it's about. Teaching and learning how to do it. And that's what we're about, man. So I want to see you guys at the next seminar, February 23rd in Las Vegas. If you're on the West Coast, I want to see you there. It's at the Golden Nugget. So at some point, DJ Envy did receive something from this business that Caesar had formulated. So one of the other stories that we did in regards to this particular story, one of DJ Envy's former, former friends, business associates, had pointed out that Caesar ended up coming to him because he owed, he owed this man money. And came there with like a, a, a box of jewelry and things like that. And hold on to this. You're going to get your money. You're going to get your money. So apparently people have been saying that this was something that is Caesar was doing. Giving people chains and things like that as, as a way to kind of compensate for the money that he, he owed them, allegedly. So as I'm going through the comments section, and, in, and I wish I can find the comment, but I can't seem to find the comment right now. Because you know we, what we do here. We like to cite our sources. Um, but a, a person said, is this DJ Envy working with the feds to get a lesser charge or to get free from any charges? And that's why his attorney is painting him as a victim. Because uh, here's the thing. Okay, you lost $500,000, but it, these interviews go back a few years that he's been working with this guy. So did you lose $500,000 recently? Because this video footage of you collecting rent seems like you were making money from the situation, unlike some of the victims in this whole situation. Some people that have lost, lost their life savings. I'm not going to sit here and act as if DJ Envy could have been completely not involved, could have been completely innocent here, because we know partners in... We've seen, we've seen this story before where partners had no idea that one of their partners was scamming people and stealing money. We were talking about this with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but I also don't believe that Tom Girardi and his partners completely had no idea what he was doing. But I'm not saying that DJ Envy had a direct hand in some of this stuff. But it did seem like it, as if DJ Envy was a little bit less than smart. And if you watch The Breakfast Club, okay. So I wouldn't be completely shocked that he made some bad decisions. But according to DJ Envy, his whole purpose, his whole intention in working with Caesar on this project or projects was to build generational wealth. But the one element that DJ Envy forgot to, to, to learn and teach here is generational knowledge, proper knowledge, that there really is no quick and easy way to make money. And that people should do their due diligence on who they're working with. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this whole situation with Cesar Pena, DJ Envy, and the future of DJ Envy at The Breakfast Club. What are your thoughts? 
Shout out to Adrian who called in earlier today, who is a real estate broker, and she shared her thoughts on this whole DJ Envy situation as well. Like people, and, and this is the thing, and it almost ties into the thing with DJ Envy with the real estate thing. Mm. There's no cheat code, people. There is no cheat code. I am studying a corporation right now in one of my classes that just got a $50 million contract with the government, the US Army, to 3D print their buildings. And it took them almost 10, seven to eight years, I think, of development, another three years of testing before they even had a product that they could bring to market. That takes time. There's no cheat code to this. And I think people have the best of intentions. We want to kind of reverse what a lot, what, what a lot has been done to our community, create generational wealth and all of that kind of stuff. But there's nothing that man's gonna tell you in an hour that's gonna turn you into the same billionaire he is. Look how long it took him to get to where he is. Look how long Rihanna took. You have to build your brand, do the research. This is not so you're going to sit down and have a conversation with him and he's going to spark some billion dollar idea over dinner. That's not real. And if you really knew what you were doing, you would take the 500000 and learn how to invest it properly. Because that whole thing about with DJ Envy, I don't know why these people thought that man was going to give them 30% in six months, but that speaks to our community's desperation. Mm. And you can't, be, you can't be so desperate that you can't think clearly. You have to be able to think strategically. So again, there's nothing wrong with wealth building and wanting to be an entrepreneur and doing your own thing. But but we, we got to understand these things are going to take time. Yeah. Guys, as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the fire. I got the fuse. You make a fire. I'll ask you. Follow me.